What's up guys? It's been a while since I made a video for Eidolon. Today we finally got the Idols Killing Trophy. So let's get into it. After my previous video I thought getting the trophy would be much faster. But I was totally wrong. After reaching Purgatory I still had to reach the bog at Lunar Isle. So far so good. Getting past the mobs was not really a problem. But every single reward added days to the next stage. Having the days to spend, I decided to rebirth and ascend a few times. Apparently this is needed in order to get stronger, otherwise it will take even longer to get the damage needed. Once I reached Oblivion, things started to get difficult. The amount of kills required was huge and the damage needed increased exponentially. The fact that you have to kill over 100 type of incarnates is insane. It actually takes 21 days to get the last code. But finally we got to Tuihi 15. And you guessed it, you actually have to beat him and reach Tuihi 16 to get the final code. So we finally got the last code and can enjoy our brand new skilling trophy which gives us 15% skilling efficiency. Now let's take a look at my idle skilling account to see what I actually achieved. We got a bunch of levels for combat. The actual playtime including the time candies I use is 82 days. The game launched on the 15th of September, so I used a few candies to speed things up. We unlocked a bunch of smithing items and leveled everything to 1000 million except for the last two types. We were getting massive amounts of ores and fishes. We unlocked a few ice creams on the way, only missing the final one. We also ascended and rebirthed a couple of times, leveling a bunch of those perks. Tilling and potions is a must in order to get enough damage. The pets helped us unlock also new vessels. We got until the blood vessels and got a bunch of levels. We formed a lot of cards and leveled them up to 5 stars. Mostly the damage and the HP cards and the passive cards. Our tinkering wasn't that bad either, you will need this equipment as well to get enough damage. The afterlight update was the Grand Slam, giving you more damage perks to buy outside of the realm. Construction was needed in order to unlock new stuff. And finally we had the contracts, which also helps us unlocking perks for endgame. Overall it was a fun experience to play idle skilling. It wasn't too much time consuming and it gave me a break from Eidolon. Now we will be waiting for World 5 in order to make more content. If you made it this far, give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys on the next one.